Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Creta. Create every day in April. Today is April 4th, 2021. Happy Easter. I hope you have an amazing day in whatever you plan on doing. If it's nothing, if it's egg hunt, cooking, all the good stuff that comes. Going to church, worshiping, resurrection of Jesus. Whatever it is, I hope that you have an amazing day. So I actually made a video and I showed you some basic stuff. And I made a boo-boo at the end. And I was like, I'll just make another video showing you how to fix the boo-boo. But instead, I'm going to show you how to fix the boo-boo versus cutting up paper. So I have a mess on my desk. The book is complete, right? I have went in and I got some other sheets of paper, cut it down. We even started decorating. I was like, no, 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 no. Let's go ahead and fix. Let's put the holes in because I get carried away with covering up stuff. But in the attempt to do something i made a mistake the mistake was not re hurt re rereading how to use my cinch machine and then i was thinking and this is the thing that i was thinking ahead of time i was like don't use the cinch machine just show people that don't have a cinch how to do it with their paper punchers and i didn't listen to myself so we're going to do that right now it's about 20 sheets of paper i'm not going to show you all of them because it's going to be um wet hair put soap on, lather, rinse, repeat, okay? So these two holes are good. This hole is not. These, I did it on, oh my goodness, on these sheets of paper. Not good holes, okay? I need the holes to be here, here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a hole down at the bottom. And I really want this hole right here to be maybe right there. So what I'm going to do is just follow this track and punch a hole so this is the hole that we really want okay you know what's going on with this camera today now i have my appropriate guide which is one two three so i'm just going to take the guide and fix the back page as well right because i always do the front and back together whenever i'm punching holes in here and there we go we're gonna fix all of this today hopefully in this video so don't you worry so we got this one and this one. And all you got to do is just put some tape or embellishment over there. Now I'm going to move my front piece to the to the side. I don't really want to screw with the front piece too much. Um, just because that piece took us a lot of work to get that particular um, style. So now we have this one where I made a mistake to one, two. And now I'm just going to turn this over. I can punch punch oh, yeah. now I need to remember where the <laughs> the bottom one is yes the last one <laughs> sometimes the brain you know we just did it and see you don't want to punch properly and that's operated. It has nothing to do with tools. What in the world? All right, so we'll just lessen it. Oh, it's this right here. So it's going to give me a hard time. That's okay. We're going to just put that to the side and work on this one. These two really quickly. And move on. Like, what other piece go? Where did the other piece go? Which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? <laughs> So here we go. Now the other sheets of paper, all these papers can be replaced, but why? Why be why replace it when you can just go ahead and fix the error? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish fixing the error and come back. I just want to come back on and show you. I have a few sheets of paper that I am adjusting that I put a paper clip, a paper binding clip, a binder clip on there, just so the papers don't move. They all have the same alignment. And we're good to go because, you know, human error is amazing, right? <laughs> I actually took the time to make a calendar for a friend of mine a few years ago and took it to Kinko's or UPS to get it actually 
um, hole punch professionally and the guy messed up on it. So, and it was a one of a kind and he was kind of like, well, what do you expect? It's a human, blah, blah, blah. I was like, dude, I can't get another one of those things. What are you talking about? You know, um, and he, his attitude, his, his attitude really upset me. All right. So all the holes have been punched correctly. Everything's good to go. Our back covers in the back where it needs to go. And the good thing about this is we will be using binder clips versus another type of um, clipping. So the book can be a little bit loose. So we're just going to adjust it and make sure all the holes are where they're supposed to be, which they are. And this is how you correct a boo-boo. Now, what we're going to do really quickly is pay no attention to the man behind the screen. We're not going to even worry about this right here for now. And what we're going to do on this side is we're just going to take some, the stuff they call washi tape and or some embellishments and put a few embellishments on there. Like we can even take this, it says, take me to the waves. And right now what we're doing is just decorating. I don't think I'm going to do another video tomorrow. Um, all right, so I don't want to cheat you out of anything, but my little guy is awake and he keeps coming in here. I did start crafting later than normal um, because I was doing some other random stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to take the opportunity to tell you that I decided to cut this off for two reasons. One, because why not, right? Two, because why not? No, I wanted to... It's a gift for someone. It is a gift uh, for someone. So even though I have those three mistakes, I'm going to keep those. But when I first started today, the first video, I realized that the papers were longer than the tabs. So, you know, I was just sitting here thinking, I was like, if you go ahead, you know, I'm talking to myself, of course. If you go ahead and cut that sliver off, you'll be able to see those wonderful tabs that we haven't covered up yet. But we're going to take some washi tape and cover one side of those tabs up. Because before the tabs were not visible and what's the use in going through all the trouble that we went through yesterday to make tabs that you can't see right so that is the goal and now what i'm going to do is just take this right here and i'm going to take half of this i'm going to um use my binder clip once more i'm going to get everything all nice and neat and snug in the rug and I'm going to take this paper punch and punch through these so I'll be right back all right so when you do this if you decide to do it with a paper punch because not everyone has a cinch and that's essentially essentially you get it what I was thinking at first you know not everyone has a cinch so I guess the happy accidents turned out pretty decent after all, the only thing I wish I would have paid more attention to is right here, this little piece, because I could have put it a little bit above there. So now I've made sure that these, all of these are against the paper, the edge. Now the one sheet of paper that is giving me a problem is the doodle pad paper that I use, which is this right here. And I got it from the Dollar Tree, I believe. Just some doodling paper basically i usually buy stuff out of the kids section for my paper crafting all right so we're good to go and the reason why i mentioned mention the binder clips before is because when you have the binder clips no not the binder clips the binder rings the paper is going to move around anyway so you don't have to worry about it too much and this may be have been too many sheets of paper at once but I'm just using two hands and if you really want to get some confetti give you your little helper if you have a little helper that's not four pawed helper and have them punch away you can make some confetti to go on your shakers if that's what you like and there you have it all holes have been correctly punched all right, so once we do put our binder clips, I keep saying binder clips, but the rings on there, all the pages will fit really nicely in here. And I'm just 
using this as a little guide to show you all our holes should line up properly. If they don't, blame the creator, <laughs> not the paper, right? Um, this one sheet wants to be naughty. Maybe it was upside down. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I think it was just upside down because everything else fits into place really nicely. So there we go. We got one, two, three. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do some decorating and then we're going to end it. My little guy has come up twice now. Um, so we got this. We got this page. Now we're going to leave a few of these pages empty because that's how I like to do them. Um, and sometimes I don't, you know, I like to cover them up. So we're going to cover up a few of these pages and I figured we could take some envelopes. You can make some if you like, or you could take a few envelopes and put them on pages. Now, do I recommend this flimsy piece of paper? No, but inside the envelope, you could put little trinkets and doodads in there. So you can use a large envelope or small envelope. Whatever kind of envelope you like to use, if you want to decorate it with something, I do hate to tell you this, but we will be back here tomorrow <laughs> with this book. And then that will be the last day, I promise. Um, I don't want to work on it off camera just because I feel like it's not fair to you if we're doing Create Every Day in April. I want to create every day with you versus doing my own thing. So that's why I'm trying to be as transparent with the boo-boos. Um, and everything is possible. So we're going to take this because this paper and we're just going to adjust these sheets a little bit. The craft paper is a little bit more sturdy. And if you have those reinforcements, you can go. I can't see myself reinforcing this entire area right here, but you could reinforce it or you could punch a hole at the top and put a ring right there at the top. But we're going to take this sheet and we're going to put something on here. So what I have is a regular envelope and I am going to change it from that style of envelope to this style of envelope. And all you need to do, you don't have to do this. You can seal this off and then that's the part you don't have to, you don't have to seal it off if you don't want to. You can just glue it down and it should work all the way around. But I am going to um, just take my scissors and cut let's do some decorative stuff i mean why not we got these scissors right they sit here all day waiting begging to be used and we don't use them maybe it can look like a shark has chomped i don't know when we went from my original mindset on this creation to this whole entire sea themed situation and I am happy about it don't get me wrong it's just like this wasn't the original plan is all I'm saying <laughs> so I'm going to snip this off because we don't need that extra piece it's just going to get in my way and I'm going to actually snip this piece off as well now you can go all out and um, get rid of everything you want to get rid of like this whole back, as long as you leave a little bit on here to capture whatever you put in there. But I'm just going to cut um, this down some because it's driving me crazy. And I'll be right back. You see it's all crooked? I'll be right back. Alright, so I chose to cut it down a little bit more to make it a little bit shorter in case I decide to put in some shorter things. It will be easier for the recipient to see what those shorter things were. I am going to go ahead and um, get out the blue because I need some blue. I haven't used, oh, you know, we'll just use, we're going to use blue if I have blue. All right, so I'm using Evergreen Bow. And I'm just inking up the edges because this is going to take us a while to do. 
that's okay. I'm in it for 30 days at least. After April 30th, I don't know. I tend to take a little bit of a breather right after because you know recording a video every day and releasing a video every day is a little bit daunting but i'm going to get out my i have a punch here all right so i punched out some octopus octopi octopi i guess right and it's a ek tools punch and i it has these little guys on top of like a party topper. I really had to have this. Um, I got it a long, long time ago. Um, and then I think I bought one in the D-Stash because I forgot I had it. And now it's the time to use it. All right. So we're going to put him right here. And I'm going to just take a pen and give him two eyes. Hopefully not too creepy eyes. Um, let's see. That looks okay, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to ink up his edges with this blue as well. And we're going to find a little sentiment to go on here. But I am going to be calling it for today because... I need to. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up really quickly. I did get another one because I um, was, I cut this one off, but I didn't want to, I cut too much of it off. And you know, if you buy envelope kits or whatever, you probably have a lot. You could always lick this glue. That's totally up to you if you want to do that. I wish I had something that says eight legs are better than two or something like that, but I don't. <laughs> All right, so we got this. We're going to put, this just looks crooked. It's a little bit crooked. Let's take these out so I don't mess this up. I'm going to try our best to adjust the height, even though I just put glue on there. It looks a little bit better already. Yep. So when you watch today's video let me know in the comment section if you are okay with me working ahead and leaving you and then doing a project share in the next day or so or if you just want to see all of the all of the steps <laughs> oh this one has a little red on it uh oh because i have red on my fingers that's okay that's okay um all right so that's fine we could put no worries here I guess we could put no worries here, right? No. All right, so I took this piece that we worked, you saw this yesterday, and I just fussy cut it down, and now I'm just going to have it where this little octopus is kind of holding on to it, and I'm going to glue it down just like that. I didn't find a really good sentiment that I want to put on there yet. But I will. All right. I think tomorrow should be our last day. Um, honestly. Maybe his eyes are too far apart. Because he kind of looks like an alien puss versus an octopus. Not that I've seen an alien puss in real life. I'm just assuming, you know, just saying. <laughs> I'm going to use some tape just in case the recipient says, you know what? I'm going to snatch this off and use it for something else. They can. I really hate that I have red ink on my finger. I mean, it's okay to have ink on your finger, but I don't like it when I'm using lighter colors because I feel like um, it transfers so easily. <laughs> All right, so I uh, <laughs> I adjusted him a little bit. Give him a smile. <laughs> we're going to put this in here. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to call this video done for April 4th. I do hope that you have a wonderful Easter. I hope that 
everything goes amazing for you. And if things are stinking right now, just remember that to stay positive and everything will be okay eventually. It works in his will, not ours. I want to say thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, happy crater. Happy crafting, everyone. Enjoy your day.